This is November the 3rd, 2015, reading from my utmost for its highest, a bond slave of Jesus. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. These words mean the breaking of my independence with my own hand and surrendering to the supremacy of the Lord Jesus. No one can do this for me. I must do it myself. God may bring me up to the point 365 times a year, but he cannot put me through it. It means breaking the husk of my individual independence of God and the emancipation of my personality into oneness with himself. Not for my own ideas, but for the absolute loyalty to Jesus. There is no possibility of dispute when once I'm there. Very few of us know anything about loyalty to Christ for my sake. It is that which makes the iron saint. Has that break come? All the rest is pious fraud. The one point to decide is, will I give up? Will I surrender to Jesus Christ and make no conditions whatever as to how the break comes? I must be broken from my self-realization and immediately that point is reached. The reality of the supernatural identification takes place at once, and the witness of the Spirit of God is unmistakable. I have been crucified with Christ. The passion of Christianity is that I deliberately sign away my own rights and become a bond slave of Jesus Christ. Until I do that, I do not begin to be a saint. One student a year who hears God's call would be sufficient for God to have called this college into existence. This college, as an organization, is not worth anything. It is not academic. It is for nothing else but for God to help himself to lives. Is he going to help himself to us, or are we taken up with our conception of what we are going to be? Words of wisdom from Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest march, the 19th, says, Faith never knows where it is being led, but it loves and knows the one who is leading. I love that. Faith never knows where it is being led, but it loves and knows the one who is leading. What came to mind is the hymn, Lead On, O King Eternal. This is written in 1888 by Ernest Shirtliff. Lead on, O King Eternal, the day of march has come. Henceforth in fields of conquest, thy tent shall be our home. Through days of preparation, thy grace has made us strong. And now, O King Eternal, we lift our battle song. Lead on, O King Eternal, till sin's fierce war shall cease. And holiness shall whisper the sweet amen of peace. For not with swords loud clashing, nor roar of stirring drums, with deeds of love and mercy, the heavenly kingdom comes. Lead on, O King Eternal, we follow not with fears. 
For gladness breaks like morning where thy face appears. The cross is lifted over us. We journey in its light. The crown awaits a conquest. Lead on, O God of mine. Father, thank you that we are indeed crucified with you and that it is no longer we or I that liveth, but you, Christ, liveth in us and me. Father, allow the old man to die away and wither, atrophy from lack of use. <laughs> Father, you are strong. Let us submit to that strength and let us be led by you. Let us not turn to the left or to the right, but to be focused on the fact that you are King of Kings, Lord of Lord, and that you have the victory. Let us walk in that victory in Jesus' name. Amen.